Hatch Request video. I'm Gia. This is Thelonious Monster. Wow, you got this his autograph. Wally George. Of... But you're not Stacy. No, it's for my girlfriend. She's a huge fan. Well, everybody is. I love Wally. Wally's right. a good guy. He really is. We're going to miss having him around. Wally here. doesn't gig no He's more either? Married? No, Wally's show still airs, but we're just not doing the production here. Anymore. Oh, I see. Yeah, but Wally, Wally will be here forever. And, and, and well, he's sort of like omnipresent. He'll be everywhere at once. Also, yeah. Jason Priestley was drunk in Vegas the other day. And Allegedly and drunk in Vegas the other and day. And these, these three teenage girls found him in the gutter, saved his life. It's a so beautiful thing. Somebody had to do it. He is wearing a Meat Puppets t-shirt, though. Oh, well, is he really? He's trying to yeah, identify he's, he's with the, the meat puppets. Uh, modern thing. Now, see, that's impressive. If you have a question for Thelonious Monster about maybe any of the reading materials Bob has here, give us a call at 714-977-KDOC. And if you're caller number eight right now to that number, you get tickets to see Jesus Lizard at the Whiskey on November 13th. It's presented by Golden Voice. And if your caller is nine or ten, you each get to see the Jim Rose Circus yeah, with Rage Against yeah. the Machine at yes, the Coach House on November 15th. And here's the deal. Some people may not know who the Jim Rose Circus is. They are the sideshow that, play, that performed at Lollapalooza, where you can like watch people drink other people's stomach bile and, Ooh, and things oh, like that. Good mm, I love it. it so great. why don't you guys introduce yourselves? Well, I'm Bob. And I'm Pete. I'm Dallas Don. And I'm Frenchie. Dixie D. Thank Richard you. Sterney. Richard Sterney. Rich Anyways, Sterney. listen to this. So the, he asked them up to the hotel room, the girls? to his hotel room, the three girls. We said no. I had told Jason that we weren't <coughs> like that. He laughed because even though he was pretty high, he was still very much in the mood for you know what. And these three girls turned him down. <laughs> these girls right there. Yeah. Do you Anyways. often read the Inquirer? Always. Is this always. maybe like tour buzz? That and Weekly World News. Yeah. Well, yeah. Weekly World News kind of goes. These were saying, in your lobby. That's real. <laughs> this is the kind of we stuff those places have. Time Magazine material, yeah. and Newsweek. You guys have the star. That's right. Can I just say this? Would anything else have been appropriate? No, no. not around here. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, so, so. Do you have a question? We're here to talk about. Why I have did a John Fashanti quit the Chili Peppers? That's a good question. That's, that's a good what question. everybody asks me all the time. I don't know why. Okay. <laughs> now, okay, is John one of the people you guys went to Las Vegas with? That you yeah. Did yes, Vegas John was there. Yes, he was one of to, the ones. You, did, was it a pilgrimage to go see Julio Iglesias? Or you no, just we just found out when we were there. We were driving Julio. down the main drag there, and it said, Julio. And Flea goes, I know that guy. So we called Flea him. Flea would. Of course. Yeah. And Flea did actually know him, and he invited us to we his show. In. And for the six of us with cocktails, I think the bill was like $700, $800. Yeah. Was... Just for a couple cocktails and to see the Julio show. 800 bucks. And Julio, of course, signed for the whole thing. Paid for it. Boom. Natch. And then he we hung out with him right backstage. Dude. And he's a rocker. He told us it's very important to sell a lot of records in the music mm -hmm. business. And, and, and your reply to that was? Or, or, or try. The Chili Peppers are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was before the record came out. Um, and so you guys wrote about your weekend. Yeah. yeah. Vegas weekend uh, is on, on Beautiful Mess, which is the new record. And I don't have a copy of it to show you, so I'm really sorry. But it's a beautiful album cover. Please go out and... and, and Purchase it. It's very much like a postmodern rock album cover. It's kind of postmodern. Post rock modern. Exactly. Exactly. Not new wave. Oh look, we have well, Claudia, just walk cassette. up here. We have a cassette. We have a cassette. It looks like this. Here. It sort of looks like a Jane's Addiction sort of new wave alternative. Now, kind of like Jane's there Addiction. you go. We'll just push in. There's my list. Baseball and oh, Jesus. Oh, there's a really good shot of that. That's great. <laughs> baseball good thing I floss, huh? Yeah. Um, yeah, Baseball and Jesus. Well, I, the two kind of go hand in hand. It makes sure the do. world go round. So you guys broke up and got back together again. Catch us up on all the happenings with that. Well, we, I was a solo star. Solo. <laughs> And it wasn't, wow. it wasn't very good. So now I'm back with these guys. And it's really good. And it's really, really good. It's really, you saw us play recently, right? I saw you play recently. I saw you play, what? Where? A week in New, in New York. York. New York. I was at the, um, oh, what was it? CMJ. She's trying yeah, to get your attention was, over we here. We've got to wrap it up. I'm trying to think okay. of the name of the place. Irving Plaza. Irving, Irving Plaza, Plaza, yeah, we did play there. Yes, they just redid that. Um, we have to see Call videos. The Lemonheads. That's what we do. Tickets to see Jesus Lizard. We Lemon gave heads. away those tickets. Oh, Lemonheads. Coming up, the Lemonheads, Lemon Mrs. Robinson, Robinson. for Leslie. Coo -coo 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 -coo. <laughs> Carnival Art, Sucker Punch, it's for Caroline in San Pedro. Yeah. But right now, here is Thelonious Blood Monster. is thicker than water. It's for Mick in L.A. Yay, Mick, thanks hey, for Mick. us. Sometimes I think about my sister. Sometimes I think about myself Well, she's this born-again Christian yeah. And 
me, I don't believe in anything. I called her on the phone the other day. I love her, but we're so far away. Sometimes I think about my sister. Sometimes I think about myself. Sometimes I cry about my sister. Sometimes I cry about myself. I think my dad was a racist. Or maybe he was just an ignorant who knows. When he got all black people stole from you, and he didn't like Mexicans, he didn't care for Jews, no. I wish he was alive today So we could go off to a Dodger game and talk Well, I tell him what I believe That he just sit there and listen to me and then change Because love is bigger than water Oh, yeah, love They're the ones that bail me out of jail But They're the ones that pick me up every time I fail Well, I love them and they love me And they don't worry if I'm not what they want me to be monster. Um, caller number 15 right now to 714-977-KDOC gets tickets to see Sugar and Throwing Muses Throwing at the Muses. Palladium on November 13th presented by Golden Boys. Uh, before the band plays live, which is, I suppose, as good a reason as any for them to have their instruments out, um, we have two questions for you guys, so do you mind taking oh, some calls? Really? Fielding yeah. some questions? Off the phonage? Yeah, yeah. phonage. Hi, phone. It's here. Hello. Hello? Hi, Hi. this? Hello. Um, this is Mike. From Mike, Banana. Mike. Mike, what's your question? Um, I was just wondering um, what their major uh, like musical influences were. Uh, everything, everything, and 
just all my I'm personally stuff. influenced by footwear. <laughs> you know, shoes, boots. Peter Frampton. You know. Football. Bob Seger. Aerosmith. Bob Jerry Seger. Como. Yeah. Night Moves. What are your Everything. influences? Allman Brothers. Are you a musician? No, I saw you guys the other day at the Fortune Hofbrau. How was that? Oh, yeah. It was pretty good. I was dressed as a priest. I want for you won. Oh, you're yeah, the guy that won. Priest. Yeah. Yay, good for you. Congratulations. <laughs> well, how was that? How was my costume? Your costume was great. All right, thanks for picking me, guys. You got it. Take care. Thanks for calling. See you, Mike. Um, we've got another Good one. Hello. Yeah, the, uh, I saw the guys at the uh, Hard Rock Cafe. You and 14,999 other people, apparently. Last night? Like yes, on yeah. Sunday? People? Yeah, yeah, it was a great show. Thank you. Fun. Tremendous. Great Thank act. You. Thank you. Uh, the you think we're I the Neville brothers or what? <laughs> Say what? No, nothing. Okay. <laughs> um, the only thing I didn't appreciate was the vulgar lang. <gasps> the vulgar language. The vulgar language that I used? Well. They cut him off because he might have gotten vulgar too, He right? may have got. well, we've, we've had that happen more than once here. Well, it's, it's, well, it's part of this of world. <laughs> yeah. Sorry to offend language. you like that, but, you know, you're easily offended. So we're tremendous, but we cuss too much. We'll work on it. Sorry. <laughs> How do you feel about being referred to as a, as a musical Charles Bukowski? Well, he cussed too much, too. No kidding, boy. I, I've been reading Tales of Ordinary Madness. I know that. I worked on Barfly. I did the set dressing on Barfly. Really? Yep. yep. Before I became a huge superstar rock and roll guy. I was a set and, and speaking of superstar rock and roll guy, you guys are about to perform a song called what? I Live in a Nice House. From Beautiful Mess, which yeah. is the new record. Beautiful Mess. For Fido and Hemet. And it, well, after they play live, that. you're sure. going to see Eugenius. Look at me, I'm playing guitar. Am I supposed to be talking to this camera? Am I supposed to be talking that to one. camera in particular? This one. Um, you'll see Eugenius, Buttermilk yeah. for Lisa in Hollywood, and the Butthole oh, Surfers, yeah. Hurdy Gurdy Man for Fido and Hemet. You guys go ahead and play, and I'm going to step. Okay. One, two, three, three four. in a nice house got a roof over my head yeah i live with a sweet girl we met in a record store we live in america it's just the greatest yellow ribbons on the hollywood sign everything is perfect and i well i just can't be sad i can't be satisfied no no well i just I've got cable TV, Nelson comes and sings to me, Bill Cosby is my black friend, television makes me happy, loves the word people throw around, throw it all over this town, people sleep out in the streets, yeah, begging for quarters, and I am, well I just can't be saved.
Welcome back to Request Video. Caller number 20 right now to 714-977-KDOC gets tickets to see Thelonious Monster at the Roxy on Thursday night. And, and I've been hearing about some of the, the acts you're going to be playing with them. And we'll talk about that in the next segment, but it should be a rockin' good time. Um, after the music news, you're also going to see an unsigned band called Kryptonite Nixon. They are very cool. They're playing on the 22nd at the Coconut Teaser with the Oilers and the Super Cools. Um, and before we get into music news, apparently we have a surprise phone call from some big rock star type person. Hello? Hello? Hi, who's this? This is E. E, a man called E. The man called E. A man called E, with with the longest name in, in all of the music business. That's right. Hello, cool. That's me. That's you. Hi. Hi, I just wanted to uh, call and say thanks for Friday night. Thank you. <laughs> now, what let me qualify this. See, E was Friday at the Billboard night. Music Video Awards um, oh, okay. thing. He was a lot. He was um, nominated for video, and we sat next to each other at the. Uh, so that's how it is around here. It was uh, it was really a pleasure to meet you, oh. and an unexpected pleasure to, to spend uh, an evening at the Maumee Sean Hotel with you. It might be. <laughs> Yeah, spending an evening at a hotel with you was not so bad itself either. But, Thank you. But thanks for calling. Hey. When, when are you going to start working on your next record? Um, January. January. So so we'll see plenty more Hello Cool Worlds, right? Well, hopefully they'll be a little different. Well, yeah, with any luck at all. Okay. So now you've thoroughly embarrassed me. People are going to think I'm a tramp and I have to move on to music news. But stay on hold because I would like very much to talk to you after this. I love you, Eve. Hey, you guys are monsters. Monstrous. I love the monster. Thanks, Daniel. Thank you. Ooh. Bye, E. Okay, on to music news. A judge in Missouri has ordered Axl Rose to be on probation for two years following last year's riot when a Guns N' Roses concert was cut short. He was also ordered to pay $50,000 to five St. Louis area charities. The first single from Duran Duran's upcoming album is called, actually the album is called The Wedding Present. The song will be called Ordinary World. Although the single will be released in December, the album will not be out until February. It's delayed because Simon Le Bon broke his wrist and collarbone during a motorcycle a racing accident in July. The release of Ice-T's next album has been delayed as well until early next year, so he doesn't compete with the soundtrack album to Trespass, which includes songs by Ice-T and Ice Cube, who both star in the film. And finally, En Vogue are being criticized by the American Muslim Alliance for wearing skimpy dresses and gyrating suggestively in their videos, which has been my problem all along. <laughs> On this day in music history, in 1984, Frankie goes to Hollywood's Welcome to the Pleasure Dome, entered the British album charts at number one, and in 1986, Nigerian musician Fela Kuti yeah. and his entourage were kicked off a United airplane flight in Denver after complaints that they smoked marijuana, threw food oh. around the plane, and harassed the crew and other passengers. Mm -hmm. If you would like to write to us during our final days here, from what I can tell, there's 12 of them. Um, the address is 1730 South Clementine Street, Anaheim, California, 92802. Stay tuned for more videos and more with Thelonious Monster following the request video concert. Welcome back to Quiz B. Hello. Camera two. Uh, you just saw Ice Cube. It's for Pete and Flea. Flea, I told you I'd put that on for you, dude. Yeah. I've got power at KDOC. Yeah, you do. I just say put Twelve that more days thing of on power. there. Do you oh. know when the Chili Peppers were here? I don't remember if it was Flea or Anthony, but one of them pulled out their pubic hairs for us. Oh really? God. I suggest. I, I hate when they do that stuff. Yeah. I hate that. Flea brought down his new fretless bass. Oh. They, they used to come down here and like They used to be way back there with their now, now, I used to be now that the show's going off the air, it's it's all because they aren't here. They'll come down next week, I They'll guarantee you. They'll be there you. Thursday night. You gotta come now. Yeah, they're gonna come okay, to the Roxy. Okay, come on down, Flea, yeah. please. Flea will be at the Roxy playing horns with us. That's true. Um, and you guys have other little little we're things you're doing. We're playing at these record stores tomorrow. Tomorrow we're playing, we're playing free shows Tower at record stores. Records in Costa Mesa on Superior Avenue at 12 12.30. So quit school, come quit down school. there, I'll give you a beer. Mm. <laughs> it's 3 o'clock at Moby Disc 21. in Westminster. Or Moby Disc, Westminster. Moby Disc, Westminster at 3, 3. o'clock on Beach Boulevard. Come down there, I'll give you a shot of whiskey. 4.30, Tempo, Costa Mesa. Tempo Records. Uh, 2701 Harbor Boulevard, come down there, and I'll give, bring you to an AA meeting. There you go. <laughs> buy you some coffee. And then here, Sunday right? at 2 o'clock, we're going to be playing live electrically on Melrose, on Melrose Avenue, at the Record Trader. Stacy Grenrock's Record Trader. Right on the corner of Spalding and Melrose. It's going to be good. Yep. 
That's going to be a better one than the Weiss and Stacey Weiss would be there. Um, you know, I, I, I guess I would be remiss if I didn't bring this up. That your sobriety has played a big part in this band getting yeah, together so great. and the record. So I love Bob good. Straight Edge is so and great. So Bob is 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 doing well for those of you who who have been concerned. I'm doing better. Um, yeah. Well, I think you're is doing Wally well. Is Wally sober? Wally's sober. Look Wally's very that. sober. I've never, in all There's my no eight years, I've never seen Wally even have so much as a glass of wine. Really? Yes. Wow. He's yeah. a righteous dude. Okay, yeah. so uh, Wally saw busted. him have a glass of wine. He likes Chianti. But Chianti? Really? That Wally, man! You're a really? rocking dude. Wow. Wally, we're he got reunited with his Facebook. daughter here, in the, according to this star here. <laughs> no, we well, can't talk about this. Okay. Okay. Everything's going to be fine. Okay. Uh, the first five people who call and ask for him get an autographed copy of Beautiful Mess. The band signed it. They even signed mine. We signed him. Yes, Simon. that's true. Resigned. And 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 the yeah. sixth caller gets free tickets to next year's Lollapalooza. I have the yep. new shirt. It's it's here. a lie. We don't have that. Oh, yeah, we'll be off the air. You get anything you want. Uh, we're gonna leave you with Green Jello, Little Pig, Little Pig. Little it's pig, for Aaron and Orange. Tomorrow the Ned's Atomic Dustbin interview airs. Nice um, 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 Friday, Peter don't Frampton get from Peter Frampton. Peter Frampton. Talk to you. Peter Frampton will be here. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks, guys. We love Gia.